If your body were an office, peptides are the Slack messages that keep every department together. They're short chains of amino acids, many proteins that tell your body what to do. Build collagen, balance blood sugar, repair muscle, and help with a healthy inflammatory response. As we age, those messages can get lost in translation. Peptide therapy is like giving your body more cell service bars so that those messages actually get through. Hi, I'm Chanel Cosette, and welcome to Peptides 101. Let's go inside the gut because that's your command central. You have special hormone secreting cells that line your intestines. First, you have your K cells. Those live in your upper small intestine and they make GIP. Then the L cells, they hang out in your lower small intestine and colon and they make GLP-1. When you eat, these cells, they're gonna sense nutrients and start releasing and creating hormones that travel through your blood, to your brain, to your pancreas, to your stomach, to your liver, saying, hey guys, food's here, let's be efficient, let's stay full, and let's keep blood sugar steady for longer. The microbiome connection. Your microbiome, your good gut bacteria, actually help trigger the system. Here is that chain reaction. First, you eat fiber, that's your prebiotic, and then your probiotic and your good gut bacteria is going to ferment it. That's gonna create short chain fatty acids like butyrate and acetate. Those short chain fatty acids are gonna knock on your L cells doors and say, release GLP-1. So when you feed your gut right, you literally help your body make its own GLP-1 naturally. That's why prebiotics and probiotics are not necessarily bonus supplements. They're actually the first step in healthy peptide signaling. GLP-1, the metabolic maestro. GLP-1, glucagon-like peptide 1, is that calm project manager of your metabolism. First, it's gonna trigger insulin only when glucose is present. It's going to slow gastric emptying so that you feel fuller for longer. It's gonna talk to your brain and say, hey, we're satisfied. It's gonna protect your heart and also help with a healthy inflammatory response. But there's a catch. Natural GLP-1 disappears within minutes thanks to an enzyme called DPP-4. That's essentially like a text vanishing before you're done reading. GIP, the unsung partner. GIP stands for glucose-dependent insulin-tropic polypeptide. It comes from K cells higher up in the gut. It's gonna help with boost insulin sensitivity and fat metabolism, support bone density, and smooth energy swings. If GLP-1 is like the conductor, GIP is the drummer keeping rhythm. Together, they're going to make metabolic music. When these two hormones are mimicked together, like in a modern dual agonist therapy, people often feel fewer side effects than with GLP-1 alone. Why you might be asking? Because GIP balances GLP-1's intensity. GLP-1 by itself slows digestion so much that for some people, it might cause nausea. GIP acts like that counter melody, keeping digestion and fat metabolism flowing so the ride is smoother. Think of GLP-1 as the brake pedal and GIP as traction control. They keep you steady on the road instead of lurching. Your natural GLP-1 is gonna flicker out where therapeutic agonists are gonna give that same signal, but they're engineered to last. Scientists have tweaked their structure so that they resist DPP-4 breakdown. They're going to stay bound to your receptors for longer. They're gonna to attach to albumin in your blood for slow release. So instead of those minute pings, you're actually gonna get a steady conversation with your metabolism until your next dose. That's what keeps your appetite, your blood sugar, and your energy stable. Now, oral versus injectables. They are both going to deliver the same message just through different routes. Injectables are going to go under the skin, they're going to skip digestion, and they're going to release steadily until your next dose. Where our oral dissolvables, those are going to use a protective coating, these little carrier molecules that survive stomach acid, and those are going to be absorbed in your gut lining. Injectables are like sending a voice note, right? It's direct, it's clear. Where the oral versions are like sending a text through a translator. It still is going to work, but timing and absorption may vary. You're gonna work with your practitioner on what's most convenient, your absorption, and really what's going to fit your lifestyle. A big part of peptide therapy is going to be the lifestyle. Now let's talk about the spark. 
every time you lift weights or you even go on a brisk walk, that's gonna open these tiny doors called GLUT4 transporters that pull sugar out of your blood without insulin. That's metabolic magic. Exercise flips your internal switch. AMPK, burn, and MTOR, build. GLP-1 leans to AMPK, so to stay balanced, your body must activate MTOR through protein and resistant trainings. No spark, no signals. Peptides can't build muscle for you, but they do make your hard work go further. Readiness equals results. So while you're on XMD or before you start XMD, I want you to build your terrain. Make sure you're starting from a good foundation. Things like hitting your protein intake, hitting your fiber intake and taking your probiotics, moving and lifting weights two to four times a week, getting quality sleep, seven to nine hours of quality sleep every single night, but also have a stress plan in place. This is going to help you with your peptide therapy. When those are dialed in, things are going to move a lot more smoothly, but when they're not, your body might say, messages undeliverable. Here's the XMD difference. Not all compounded peptides are equal. We partner with only FDA registered 503A pharmacies, following USP 795 797 sterile standards. What that means for you is every ingredient comes from an FDA inspected source. Every batch has a certificate of analysis verifying potency, purity, and safety. Every prescription is customized to you after a clinician reviews your labs, history, and goals. No gray market vials, no research grade, or not for human use. You guys, we are using pharmaceutical grade precision medicine made for you. All right, folks, these are the red flags I want you to avoid. Any place that says not for human use or for research only, don't get those. <laughs> Sellers that don't have a pharmacy license or a C of A, stay far away from them. And then you also want something that is customized for you and your bio individual needs. Stay away from one size fits all dosing. These are the red flags I want you to stay clear from. Next up, let's talk about the support stack. Peptides are the lead. These are your backup singers. First, protein. Make sure you're hitting your protein target every single day along with that movement and muscle building. We want muscle repair and muscle protein synthesis. Also, like I said earlier, your gut is your epicenter. It is your command center, and you need to make sure you're feeding it enough fiber, prebiotics, and polyphenols. We also want to help balance the blood sugar between meals through prebiotic and chromium is another great one in those. These do not replace your peptides, but they do help support your peptides. Now, how you know it's working? When everything just clicks. Energy is steady all day. You feel satisfied, not stuffed. Strength holds or climbs. Your cravings drop, your sleep deepens, and your mood steadies. That's physiology back in harmony. At XMD Wellness, our telehealth partner is bringing real medicine into real homes. Personalized peptide therapy, clinician oversight, FDA verified quality, and lifestyle support that supports your biology. Peptides aren't magic, they're messengers. When your gut, muscle, and mitochondria are tuned, those messages sink. This is midlife redefined, strong, clear, and alive. Thanks for joining me, friends. Now let's go find your spark.